Hello everyone, Nasir here again. In this video, I'm going to talk about the NASDAQ 100. Um, so you'll see on my uh, video history, uh, I, I spoke about uh, the NASDAQ 100 quite a long time ago actually, where I was speculating that NASDAQ and in fact the broader markets will be uh, dropping uh, anytime soon. Uh, my, my projections are quite radical, uh, expecting NASDAQ to fall substantially lower than where it is at the moment, but I'm quite excited to uh, look at this actually. Firstly, because obviously we've got a substantial drop already, NASDAQ falling from 16,600-ish down to around 13,500-ish, uh, which was uh, quite as calculated. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of equities, to be honest, simply because there's so many variables involved and uh, obviously you know things can be sort of uh, uh, swayed or uh, the direction could easily be changed by uh, let's just say corporate politics or whatever it is you want to call it uh, so i'm not a huge fan of equities but i just can't ignore this um the nasdaq uh, 100 we've seen a nice big drop but i think we're looking at a potential pull back up towards around 16,000 ish um so in my last video on the Nasdaq 100, I did actually mention that wait for it to pull back up to 16,000 16, if we do get that and then look for a short and on this video the reason why I'm making this is I feel quite confident that we're going to get a pullback up towards 16,000 so there might be a nice little uh, buy opportunity here. Um, markets will rally. Uh, at some point, we've seen a, a lot of bad news come out. We've seen companies like Facebook and whatnot drop dramatically. Um, but if you don't want to trade on the index, you might want to look at uh, strong companies that bounce back really quickly when the market rises. Uh, you might want to put your money there. Or if you want to stay a little bit safer where you sort of got bits of everything, then look at trading uh, the NASDAQ 100 index. So for now, I'm looking at a buy on the NASDAQ 100, taking it back up to around 16,000-ish, possibly 16,500-ish. Around there, I'd look for some signs of it continuing its uh, longer-term fall and heading back down again. Uh, it might stop at 16,500, it might breach it, go as high as 17,000, I don't know. Let's, uh, we'll have to take it a step at a time. Uh, we've only just had a breakout of this uh, trend line that I've got, this long-term trend line. So once once it's broken, usually it tends to sort of continue in that direction. Um, but obviously, I just want a retest of that high level before I expect it to drop any further. So let's see. I'm staying on the... Uh, up, overall, I'm staying on the short side of the markets. But I think there's a, uh, there's a uh, quick uh, buy trade. Uh, on the NASDAQ 100 to around 16,000 level before continuing the big sell. Thanks for watching my video guys. I really appreciate you following my analysis. Please do not go and trade based on this analysis. I highly recommend you watch my previous videos, see how those analysis worked out, if they were fruitful or not, and make a judgment on my accuracy rate and only then think about trading. I'd really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button uh, down below and possibly click the bell icon as well. And please do share this analysis. There's a lot of money in the markets. There's enough for everyone to have a piece of the cake. Uh, so share this analysis and help each other out.